Hey there lovely people what's going on I am doing series of reviews in this particular episode I'm going to be talking about Alexandria fragrances after a long time my very experience of Alexandria was this perfume this was a gift from Hani Hafez brother Hani Hafez very nice kind person this was his one of the oldest fragrances and this was called 1984 I have quite a few more from his older collection and uh, after a long time I'm doing his house because this one thanks to dear brother Avik Bhai Mr. Avik who lent me his uh, discovery set or travel atomizer set there are four perfumes i write down the names in order of review and they are inspired by some other more popular perfumes these are i forgot their pricing but they are affordable but not really cheap alexandria and dua you guys know are some of the best uh, clone makers and they have their original creations as well but they make their fragrance ultra beast mode so i remember one thing alexandria back in the days used to be more affordable than dua and their presentations were better than dua that was my uh, experience but Dua fragrance I reviewed some check them out uh, so let's see what we have today so I'm gonna do quickly four fragrance in one video so you can see which one you can like so these are uh, in a box okay the boxes uh, I have sorry I'm gonna be a bit careful I sprayed them already they are this kind of set of box at the back it was a set travel set Alexandria fragrances since I sprayed them I put them in order so I'm not taking them out so yeah and uh, they, he brother has written the name of the perfumes and which one is inspired by what for my convenience. Thank you so much Avik Bhai. So let me show you one atomizer. You will understand the rest. Very good atomizer like Senbard or so. They use these atomizers. It has this uh, Alexandria logo and the name and you cannot tell the name from outside. So when you twist it, it comes out like a magic, you know, really nice. You can, these are very well built glass bottle inside, but outside metal casing. Very good. And when you open it like this, the name is on the neck. Okay. So this one is called African Magic. Okay, let's put it back. And the dry down is here. It smells good. It smells very, very nice. Let's do one uh, more shot just to refresh the, uh, you know, experience. Okay, the sprayers are good. You know, sometimes the sprayers are good. Sometimes, you know, you have to press from proper side, but it's enough. So the African Magic first one, you know, this one is a dupe of I think African leather by Memo African leather. Yeah, African leathers uh, fragrance. It's very nice. Original one is a very nice cardamom spices, very nice citrus opening. Then you have a leather note in there. It's a cardamom leather, citrus sort of a sweet, very lovely, interesting perfume. And Memo Paris is expensive. So African leather, that's the only bottle I have somewhere in there. And how close is this? If you smell them side by side, you won't be able to find differences, man. I'm telling you, uh, this one is a little bit sweeter. Uh, from my recollection, African leather is a little bit more spicy with the cardamom. This is a tad bit sweeter and citrusy. Uh, notes a little bit amped up. So it's more sweeter, okay? And when I smell it, the longevity on Alexandria, don't worry about them. They're all the fragrances, they last very long time. So longevity is pretty good. It's the smell that I am concerned about. I think this is a winner. This is a jackpot winner. Because uh, African le leather memo, I remember 75 mil tester I bought for nearly 100 something dollars, okay? And that was not cheap. And if you convert it to like a 100 ml portion, you know, that would be a lot, like under $200 or so. Uh, so compared to that, this is a good value. And I think the juice color is pretty nice. The bottles, I don't know what kind of bottles they give. This is a winner. I really like it. Uh, this one, the dry down when I smelled it, uh, I think the fragrance like uh, the spiciness is actually a bit tamed you know like not like uh, african leather african leather always is a little bit spicy more spicy cardamom than this that's the only difference that i get and the longevity on both are massive so this is a good value fragrance i give this overall a nine out of ten really a winner this is called african magic really nice one okay so that's the first one second one we're gonna go it's called uh, brooklyn fragrance i think brooklyn fragrance lover I think that's the name and I think he dedicated this honey office to Carlos okay you guys know Carlos passed away uh, like some time back and he's one of our uh, more popular YouTube reviewer, reviewer you know one of us uh, and he actually is missed dearly so let me show you the atomizer now let me see the name if I got it right yeah Brooklyn fragrance lover it's written here really nice touch okay and uh, you can use it like this but I think it's better if you put it in and use okay so this one is a clone of Angel Share. Dry down is here. You guys know I love Angel Share. I did co uh, cover a couple of Angel Share clones. Let's see how good this is. Opening top note. Okay. 
let's just go double shot because I love angel share this is a 10 okay he did his best job with this perfume you know uh, I love angel share I have it time for me to get a backup I have some other clones this is way ahead of the clones okay the one from Lata Fau or the one from Paris Corner they're good for their budget this is gonna be more expensive absolute spot-on clone okay beautiful smoothness nothing synthetic nothing alcoholy let's just say if you like angel share this is the best alternative to that of course original is original bottle is gonna be so much nicer and by Killian but if you put those aside like the bottle I don't need okay or I don't need the brand I need the juice that is similar and people will not be able to distinguish like Baccarat Rouge and the Baccarat Rouge clones sometimes people can tell the clone smell synthetic this one no this is a 10 out of 10 longevity projection I cannot say it's better than by Killian's one by Killian one last on me like eight nine hours really like a nice oak and boozy notes sweet you know got this honey this fragrance is all that very lovely very lovely and I think the longevity is gonna be if not better than that very close to that so this is a 10 this is a winner this is called Brooklyn fragrance lover angel share clone this is the second one and uh, third one we're gonna look at it's called I think Italian caramel okay let me see the name uh, he wrote down the name but you know sometimes it's in short form so Italian caramel yeah it's written here okay so when you know Italian caramel it's <laughs> gonna be a clone of another fragrance from Zergio and let me spray this I can smell it. it's also very good he bought some of the best ones trust me let's go double shots for a better experience okay this is a clone of uh, Italica by Zerjov. I think that's the one written there and I had Italica I did not like it that much I liked uh, Zerjov was the other one the golden one that one I like more I forgot the name Casa Moratti Oven man this is good even if I do not like Italica I like this okay I'm sorry I'm gonna like all of them a lot uh, because they are some of the best of his creation and you guys know if you actually uh, try some of the Alexandria fragrance the quality is pretty good oil concentration is very good and they are smoother and not uh, disturbing to your nose this is very good quality very good gourmet quality some fruity notes up top and then you can see the caramel side by side kind of powdered chocolate it will also pop up it's kind of unisex Italica is by Zergio but what's the fragrance the other one the <laughs> let me remember the name wait yeah the fragrance called Lira I like Lira more than Italica but Italica is a top seller it was a limited time release it was discontinued and they re-released it very expensive no point buying that for three four hundred dollars this is the way to go and I like this actually I like this a lot more than Lira scent profile Lira something is plasticky about it maybe I don't understand that fragrance so much but uh, it's not Lira I'm sorry Italica is a little bit off-putting for some reason it has a bug spray kind of smell this one no it's a kind of a dessert you want to eat so good so good this is also 10 out of 10 okay so this is called uh, Italian caramel this perfume this is better than Zerjov's one for me <laughs> okay better than the original in terms of scent profile very nice citrusy fruity uh, caramel sort of vibe okay this is 10 out of 10 and then we have one last fragrance which is gonna be thing called royalties okay let me check the check the name I'll write down the names don't worry royalties okay this one uh, clone of Creed Royal Oud luckily I have that and I know the smell like really really well I have a sort of a vintage version 2015 or before that 120 mil version <sighs> fantastic job you know like not pinpoint exactly the opening like 90% time 90% of the percentage I would say is similar but it's missing something that I ha I get from let me show you this perfume this is one of my signature scent dream come true fragrance Royal Oud okay that versus this I prefer Royal Oud for the one instant I would say this is better fragrance than this one okay in my humble opinion but good thing about this fragrance they managed to do very decent job with this really really good I have reviewed some uh, Creed's Royal Oud alternatives you know you check out my channel and if you search by Creed's Royal Oud you know clones or something you'll find my review so I have some Paris Corner ones, you know, I have certain fragrance from, I think, Lomani. Uh, I never really found a very good substitute for Royal for performance. This one has the performance, okay? Long lasting, kind of like spicy, you know, Royal Oud is not about Oud, it's about more spicy woods. Uh, this one also is the same. But really nice 
smooth fragrance, no alcohol blast, very good quality. Just that, I think if you have Royal Oud, you don't need this. I would personally go and spend the money on buying Royal Oud. This one is still solid. I'll give it like 8 out of 10. Very good perfume. Uh, but this fragrance, I would say if you do not know how Royal Oud smells, perhaps you'll, you, perhaps you'll feel it's not very sweet. You know, it's a bit mature fragrance. So it's not for everybody. Okay. 8 out of 10 for the quality. But this is a try before you buy. So those are the four fragrances I reviewed. Um, initial impression and quickly. So you can actually go and try them. In future, if I find a full bottle, I'll do a full on review, right? So thank you so much for watching, guys. Thanks so much, Avik Bhai, for your bottle courtesy and uh, loan. Hopefully, uh, these fragrances, they are in good price. That's the most important thing. Uh, take care, guys. Thanks for watching. Time for one last episode. Then we'll upload this. Take care.